What is going on, guys? Make sure the uh, volume... There we go. All right, so let's uh, move the mic a little bit out of your way, possibly. Okay, there. That should be good. Um, yeah, I want to make sure that you guys can... Uh... There we go. We got the music back. I'm really hoping this music isn't copyrighted. I'm really hoping. Um, one thing I didn't do was read the pre-flight for turns, but I think... I remember enough about it, um, okay, yep, 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 good, good, um, Artificial Horizon, got it. Good to go, good to go. Okay, using, uh, rudder in order to get my, uh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Gotcha. Yep, so nothing super, uh, nothing super in-depth. Just going over, good lord, that's loud. Um, just going over how to get coordinated turns and everything, and I'm trying to get this mic at a good spot where you can hear me pretty well without a lot of echo, so if there's a lot of echo there, I'm sorry. Um, I also don't want it in the camera, um, so right there should be good as long as I sit back. One thing I've learned about this mic is I needed about one extended hand away from me at least um because if i come up here too close it's way too way too loud entirely too loud because this is a uh, compensated mic so it's going to do the same volume and try to do the same volume no matter what um so yeah so we're going to see what they say to do here uh three quarter full um we're going to go to virtual cockpit again because you know me I would much rather be in a virtual cockpit than the uh, now that you know what straight level regular cockpit. Like and we're lesson, gonna we're going look to look down. To After all, let's face it, unless the place you're going is right in front of you, sooner or later you there we have go. to turn. Yep. I hope you did your homework before starting this flight. Once again, we're in the Cessna 172 SP in this beautiful Puget Sound region of western Washington. I've got the airplane, so you just relax a bit. Let's begin by looking at the top of the attitude indicator. Do you see the orange pointer pointing directly above the thick white line at the top of the indicator? This means our wings are level, which agrees with the position of the miniature airplane. The arrow on top points to the bank angle. The bank angle is the angle our wings make relative to the horizon. The three short lines on either side of the fat one represent the bank in increments of 10 degrees. In other words, 10, 20, and 30 degrees of bank. The two short lines way past the 30 degree mark and the horizon are the 60 and 90 degree bank lines. You won't bank that far though. Now check the heading indicator. That's the one right below the attitude indicator with all the numbers on it. It looks like a roulette wheel with an airplane in the middle. See how it shows W at the top of the dial? That means we're on a heading of west or 270 degrees. We call it 270 because we get paid by the syllable and that's the way it's said in aviation. Each big mark on the heading indicator represents 10 degrees of turn, and each small mark represents 5 degrees. Paid by the syllable, I like that. And it's also called 360. East is 0, 09 or 0. We put the leading 0 on to prevent confusion, and south is 180. Watch me make a turn to 0, 090 0 degrees. That's the E on the heading indicator. And we should check for traffic before we turn. No, I don't mean automobile traffic either. There are no cars up here. I'm speaking specifically of airplane traffic. We don't want to run into another simulator up here on this lesson. As the airplane banks, the wings of the airplane bank with it, and the arrow at the top points to our bank angle. We normally use 20 degrees of bank to turn. There are a but lot of good reasons for this, but the most important one right now is because I say so. Some there of the wings is. lift is being used to turn the airplane, so I'll have to pull back slightly on the joystick to compensate. How much should I pull back? Just enough so that the needles in the altimeter and the VSI don't move. Of course, the higher the bank angle we use, the more we'll have to pull back. As we approach our desired heading, we start to roll the wings level and release the back pressure we've been holding. We have to start a roll out before we get to the heading or else we'll shoot past it and have to turn back and all the birds will laugh at us. The higher the bank angle, the sooner we have to start our roll up. With a 20 degree bank, we need to start about 20 degrees before our heading. If we try and roll out at the last minute, we could roll out too fast, and some of our passengers may bump their heads against the window, and that always makes them cranky. There it is. In your car, if you make small, smooth changes to the steering wheel, you'll get smooth turns and happy passengers. 
If you make sudden, abrupt changes, you'll get squealing tires and higher insurance rates. In an airplane, if you make large, abrupt changes with the controls, you'll get unhappy passengers and possibly a bent airplane. Now, if you really feel the need to yank and bank, then get Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator. As long as I'm here with you, however, let's just there give it small, gentle inputs. Yank and bank. All right. Now, I want you to make a turn to the left. Turn left, 20 degree. The altitude and throttle. That way, you can concentrate on the ailerons. Take the joystick and move right. slowly to the now left. Now you see our and turn the indicator. There, there we go. Minutes. Let the stick return to center. Or so give it just a little bit of rudder. Necessary to maintain this bank angle. Gently make time. We'll make that time. Right that turn coordinator come right to the middle. That's what I'm. Oops, a little bit too much rudder there. See how they had a uh, turn uh, coordinator. Is uh, bouncing back and forth as I uh, mess with the rudder. That's what I'm watching. While bank, take a second or two to peek outside. It's real pretty in this part of the country. Remember, take a second or two. You're asking me to. This is like asking me to pat my head, Notice pat my head, and rub my stomach at the same, the same time. Angle with the panel as the horizon line makes with the miniature airplane in the attitude indicator. One of the primary reasons we have an attitude indicator is so that we know how we are. I'm liking this sick though. Even as old as it is. Into a cloud and we can't see outside. Makes sense. Sorry, I'll only talk whenever he's not. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. Some of you guys want to actually see the lesson. Um, so what I was saying was, I'm liking this stick. It's a cheap stick. This chick stick is only $40. Guys, you can get set up Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a little bit too steep of a bank. Um, but you can set up Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator will run on even your cheapest laptop. I almost guarantee it. Um, so whatever laptop you have, you can play this on. And I can almost guarantee you, like, you guys can afford this HOTUS, most let's likely. Let's roll back into straight level flight. Alright, let's roll back. And let's see if he's got anything else to say. But, uh, yeah, this HOTUS is only like 40 bucks. So it's real cheap. Um, I'll have a link to and it on... Wings less. Should be straight I level. I want you to turn right and use a 10 degree bank angle. Alright, 10 degree bank. Little bit of right rudder. There's 10 degree bank. Notice how the heading changes. The bank angle determines the rate of turn. A small bank angle gives us a small turn rate. A large bank angle gives us a larger turn rate. What I was saying was I'm going to put this at FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com, my Let's gear. back into straight and level flight. Good job. Go. I've got the airplane. All right. I'm going to make a turn to the right. While we're turning, look at the turn coordinator. That's the instrument in the lower left-hand corner of the six primary instruments. It has a little white airplane on it and a tube with a black ball in the center. The little airplane shows the rate of your turn, and the black ball tells you the quality of the turn. When I say quality, I mean whether the turn is coordinated between the aileron and the rudder. Because the rudder is a difficult thing to master, I'll take care of it for you. But just for fun, look at the black ball. As long as the black ball is centered between the two black lines, we're making a coordinated turn. Some people call this black ball and its track the inclinometer, and I'm inclined to do the same. There when it the is. ball is deflected right or left of center, we should use the controls to maneuver it back to the center position. There's one more thing about the heading indicator I think you should know about. You may have noticed an orange pointer moving around it. This is called a heading bug, despite the fact that it doesn't have any legs. Professional pilots often set the heading bug to the heading they want to fly before they start a turn. That way, they don't forget where they're supposed to be going in case a real bug enters the cockpit and distracts them while they're swatting it. Of course, there are other distractions too, like talking on the radio, maintaining altitude, and adjusting our cool sunglasses. I want you to try moving the heading bug indicator to a specific heading. Start by pointing your mouse at the knob on the lower right-hand side of the heading indicator. The mouse pointer changes to a hand with a minus or plus sign inside as you pass it from the left side of the knob to the right. Clicking the right side of the knob moves the heading bug clockwise and the selected heading increases. Clicking the left side of the knob moves the heading bug counterclockwise and the selected heading decreases. As you do this, you'll probably notice that the airplane banks toward the bug. Yep, you've discovered my secret. The heading bug is how you tell the autopilot which heading to fly. That's another good reason to use it often. So you now know how to turn the airplane. 
Combine that with the other lessons in the student pilot lessons and you're well on your way to piloting an airplane anywhere you want to go. I guess that was it. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm going to put a link to this HOTUS on the website. Go to FoxTrotDeltaUSN.com. Click on My Gear. This HOTUS will be on My Gear um, by the time that I am... Um, by the time this video is uploaded. Um, also, uh, some people were asking me about, about the controller I use whenever I'm playing ATS. It is... Oh, good lord. I've got to get to where... Eh, there's a camera. Um, it's just this cheap controller from GameStop. What I like about it... And I'm sorry for bumping the mic there. Um, what I like about it is it's it's a little bit thicker than a regular controller. And then also it does have these uh, buttons down here. Now these buttons down here aren't programmable. That's the whole reason I bought it was because I thought those buttons behind were programmable. But it, it still is nice. Um, for example, um, I have one of them set to uh, set cruise control. And I have another one set to something else. And I found, it was one of those things where I found that if I was trying to drive and do something with the D-pad, at the same time, I was having to like reach across. So instead, I programmed them to these back buttons here. Um, if I can find this one, which I should be able to find this one on Amazon. If I can find this one on Amazon, I'll have that on my gear as well. Also, guys, if you guys are streaming and you want to set up with a website like what I got. Now, keep in mind, I'm not very good at... You guys go to the website, you're going to see that I'm not very good at setting up the website. But everything is there. Um, if you guys want to set up with uh, Streamlabs Prime, Streamlabs is offering all of my viewers $9 off the monthly and uh, off your first month of Streamlabs Prime or $10 off your first year if you sign up for the annual. Um, that's what I did. I signed up for the annual. It was $139, good lord, $139, I believe it was. Um, it was $139 and it paid for the entire year or it's $19 uh, dollars a month. Like I said, you can get the uh, $9 um you get nine dollars off so you get your first dollar first month for good lord i can't even freaking talk you can get your first month for uh ten dollars or you can get your entire first year for 119 or 129 whatever it is ten dollars off but anyways guys links to that is in the description everything else is in the description as always we've got our outro um which will uh, tell you everything else but guys be good to each other be good to yourselves hugs and shit i will see you guys in the next one Watching. Do you want to support the channel for free? Like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date with the daily videos. Then you can head over to FoxtrotDeltaUSN.com. Click on Partners and bookmark the Partners page. Every time you want to buy something on Amazon just click your bookmark then click the Amazon logo. Isn't that easy? It doesn't cost you a damn penny and it helps the stream so what are you waiting for? Also check out the Patreon, Discord, and Merc Store. Be good to a cother, be good to yourself. Hogs and shit we'll see you in the next one.